Hi guys, Garage 61 is a great tool, but it isn't always easy to translate the squiggly lines to what you are doing corner by corner, especially when you can't view it as you're driving. This is what the overlay tool Bloops is here to help with, taking data from Garage 61 and overlaying it in iRacing, so you can spot the differences from the quick cats in real time. Let me show you how. You'll need to have the Garage 61 agent installed and running in order to use Bloops. You can register for an account on garage61.net, then after logging in, go to the app, select your profile name and click download agent. Follow the installation prompts and you're ready to roll. Before installing Bloops, check that you have everything working correctly by running through a quick practice session on iRacing. This should show up on Garage 61. Next up, we need Bloops installed. Go to https colon slash slash blue dot ps and click download. The installer isn't certified, so you have to accept the risk and continue installation. Once installed, it'll appear as a task icon. You may also need to log into Garage 61 after installation of Bloops. Bloops will find the track and car combination you are using and then find the appropriate fast laps on Garage 61. It does a fantastic job of this. And if all you want to do is compare against the quick cats, then you don't need to look any further. If you want to compare against your own lap times or those of your teammate, you also have those options in the configuration. This is very helpful, especially if you're trying to match your faster teammates in preparation for endurance events. Getting quicker isn't as easy as installing a new tool and driving. You need to determine where you're going wrong and why. That isn't easy with just a ghost. So having bloops on and visible on screen when you're driving really lets you come to terms with your faults and how to correct them. I find it best to use this tool in combination with ghosts so you can get your track positioning right too. Bloops has no VR option, but that doesn't mean we VR racers can't use it. There are the audible cues, and as an overlay window, we can use tools like Open Kneeboard to display our telemetry. Bloops isn't just about the visual aspect as the name suggests. It also can relay audible cues for us so we can better understand when we should begin braking. This is especially helpful for learning new tracks quickly. Those long tracks like the Nordschleife or the Bend, as daunting as they are, these bleeps and bloops make it a little less scary. So Bloops isn't a magic cure and you still need to be able to read telemetry on each corner. But it does unlock a little more real-time data that helps us to find success. You still need to be doing the basics right to find this time and need a ghost car on screen to help with positioning. But having another tool at your disposal is great to get up to speed. The Bloops themselves are a great non-visual option if you are learning a new track or to provide a cue for when you should really be braking, giving you a heads up for when you should be slowing down or on the throttle. I found it a good option for knowing when you are over slowing. For example, when you are on the throttle before the bloop goes off, probably means you weren't carrying as much speed as you could through the corner. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel, don't forget to subscribe so other people can find this kind of content. Now it's goodbye from me, and until next time, bye-bye guys.